Erin with this week's health and nutrition news. As social media sites like Facebook and Twitter increasingly connect families, friends, and celebrities, cyberbullying has unfortunately become a major issue, and now it's been linked to teen depression. It's so easy for mischievous cowards to send cruel messages to perfect strangers or public figures, hiding behind the anonymous safety of the internet. British lawmakers have even worked on anti-trolling laws to jail online bullies for up to two years. The harsher penalties against online trolls follow several high-profile cases of women being threatened on Twitter. Hopefully, as the online and international community takes a tougher stand against faceless bullies, there will be less poison spewed on social media and message boards. In the meanwhile, if you or someone you know has been harassed online, be sure to tell an adult or teacher about it. When it comes to oral hygiene, you might feel pretty proud of yourself for regularly brushing your teeth in the morning and at night before bedtime. However, using dental floss is just as important, since it removes bacteria attracting plaque and decaying food between your teeth. See, even the best toothbrush in the world can't reach the tiny cracks and corners where this gunk loves to hang out. Flossing at least once a day, ideally before brushing, helps fluoride toothpaste cleanse your mouth. When you don't floss, bacteria colonies build up, irritating your gums and making them vulnerable to bleeding. When you do floss, you can prevent gum disease and cavities that form on the surfaces between teeth, while also allowing your chompers to regenerate their strength. Traditional flossing usually requires about 10 or more inches of floss, which is often wrapped around the middle or index finger and supported by your thumbs. By navigating it gently up and down between your teeth, you can floss away all those gross bits of leftover food. If your fingers turn red just thinking about floss, then use a floss wand, which can be held like a toothbrush. Then, the next time you see the dentist, you can proudly tell them you've been a floss raptor. <laughs> Just when you thought American obesity couldn't get any worse, a recent study found that the number of obese adults outweighs the number of merely overweight ones. Scientists studied body mass index, or BMI, which is calculated using a person's height and weight. A BMI between 18.5 and 24.9 is normal, while 25 to 29.9 means someone's overweight and a BMI over 30 often means someone is obese. There are exceptions, of course, especially when people are muscular, since BMI doesn't take into account factors like muscle mass and bone density. Still, it does offer a general glimpse into American weight. Researchers found 37% of women were obese, compared to 30% who were just overweight, while males were about 35% obese and 40% overweight. When you combine those two figures, though, it shows that three out of four men are overweight. This is troubling because obesity increases the risk of heart disease, a sugar imbalance condition called diabetes, and even cancer. If people make better diet and exercise decisions, however, these numbers can be driven down. So control your food portions, go outside, play as often as you can, and stay away from junk food. Another strategy for avoiding unnecessary weight gain is controlling when you eat, because skipping meals and eating at irregular hours can imbalance your body. Scientists from the University of California, San Diego are coming to the conclusion that you're not just what you eat, but when you eat. When women cut out midnight snacks by avoiding meals between 8 at night and 8 in the morning, researchers believed it could lead to weight loss. Several other studies also seem to indicate that eating most of your calories earlier in the day is ideal. They compared adults in Spain who ate the biggest meal before 3 p.m. to those who ate the biggest meal after 3 p.m. Over a 20-week period, the early diners lost more weight. These early birds got a very special low-fat worm, and it's because our bodies are programmed to burn more calories at the start of the day. You should also avoid skipping meals, since you might end up hungrier later and compensate by eating a larger quantity of calories. What's wrong with you? You're supposed to eat that thing, not scalp it. Well, Daddy, all uh, calories in the chicken are found in the skin and in the fat.